can fly out of limb How you doing today? Dirty old plumbing bills up here. Hey, eh? oh God, people. Well, I'll tell you a little story about a guy named Bill. My drains got plugged up because mom was just putting everything possibly down the drains, weren't you, babe? Yes, I was. She won't admit it, but she was, boys. So, I tried the drain -o, I tried this and that-o, and uh, no go -o. What I ended up doing is I said, oh, I'd take the, you know, take this off and that off and see if I can't get unplugged with a, uh, a snake a rooski. But in the meantime, when I was taking everything off, all the washers and everything else were busted and this and that and the other thing. So we got to redo this section right here and you're going to freaking join me. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell or button if you like plumbing with Bill. So why wouldn't you? So first thing we got to do is we got to try to get this to go over the copper because I got copper coming in and I wanted to change all the copper to ABS, but I couldn't because I couldn't go straight down because out this wall here is the addition wall and there's a vent and this and that. So it goes out here that way, down that way, the vent goes up this way, and then it goes down, across, down, across, and then over the main drain. So you could just imagine how thrilled I am about that. But what we gotta do is we gotta get this cleaned up and fit on here anyway. So let's get that done and then we can start really getting into her boys because hopefully I got it unplugged. I'm not 100% even sure if it's unplugged yet because I can't try it. We gotta get uh, this new fitting on here. We do a little bit of a burr right there. Ooh, that feels pretty good. Sand her down, Jim. So let's see if this goes over here because if this goes over here, we're Bob's your uncle. Ooh, that's tight. Ooh, eh? That doesn't want to go over that either. Oh, I got nothing to fit this thing. No. Like, what the fuck? It's for inch and a half ABS to copper. Well, guess what? No go on that O. Like, is that even round O? Oops, hold on to her. Frig. Yeah, like that's not fucking gonna go on there. Not even close. No wonder where the fucking thing leaked. Where's the original one? Like the original one doesn't even go over it. Yes, it does. So that one goes over it. Why does not one? Because they're not the same goddamn size. What size is this fucker? Inch and a half. Inch and something. Inch and a half. Well, these are both inch and a half. There's no way in hell that's an inch and a half. No, it's bigger. What is it, metric inch and a half now? Oh my God. None of this shit fits copper. So why would it say two copper? Well, I might have to reuse that one and try to figure it away. To seal it. So I'll have to go and cut that off. Take that back, because that don't work, and I'll spend the money on stuff that don't work. I gotta find a seal for this, because it's not self-sealing. All right, so since I didn't have the right fitting for this, I had to adapt the new, the old one to it onto here. And I used <laughs> blue silicone <laughs> to freaking seal it off. But I am gonna put that on here, so I can change that later on, and I can just unscrew it, boys, and take her apart. And Bob, you're freaking uncle, I am. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put these on the sink bottoms, which thread on like so. Hey, I don't know if you can see. Hopefully, it's hard to get the the angle the dangle in here with a camera eye. So we'll get them on the sink. Can you see? Probably not. How about now? Oh, oh, careful! Oh, oh, yeah. This stand is just a piece of shit. Like what in the flying cock? There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna put these on here like this. Make sure they're nice and tight. And now I'm gonna need. To that, that to that, and that to that. But we gotta do one side at a time so we don't friggin' end up cocking ourselves right over, we don't. So, what I gotta do is go out and cut myself a few little connecting pieces, I do. Friggin' right I do. So I'll be right back. Girl peoples. So there's a couple connecting pieces. So now we'll scuff them up. There we go. We'll take these back off and we'll do this down here so you can see what's really going on. There we go. Scuff them inside of there. Decent. Scuff this up. Decent. Scuff this up. Decent. Scuff this up. Decent. Now we need our goop. Oh yeah we did. So now we just gotta put some of this in here. Put some of this in here. Now remember this is just a drain so it's not under pressure. Put that in there like that and put that in here like this boys. There we go. She's connected, she is. Friggin' right it is. All right, so now we gotta do the same with the other one. Squeeze that in. Yeah, we did. 
and we'll give her another squeeze job. <sighs> there we go. So now what we've got to do is determine how far will we want the T. You see? In order to get this onto there like that, we need to put this in here like this. So we need another connector. This one goes on here. This one goes on here. So we need to put the T here somewhere. Hey. So what we need is we need to figure out what's really going on. Where the hell's my T? What you do with my T? There's a T, Mel. I found it. Yeah, I did. So that's gonna go on here somewhere. So that lines up to that, Jim. So let's get this all mocked up. So that's gonna go on there like that. And then we need to put this to here. So we're gonna need, measuring this to about there, we're gonna need three and a half inches. Six inches. Oh, look at that, hun. Hey? Now we need, we need another measurement here. We do. Oh, four inches. And that's how you do plumbing with Belsa, eh? Check out that, boys, girls, peoples. We gotta take all that apart now and glue it all. So let's get that done and then we'll see how things go from there. Okay, so let's undo this and we'll undo this. And everything should come down together. There we go. So, and we'll start by taking this one off. Oh, yeah. Decent. So now we'll do this one. We're gonna have to put this one on on the fly. So have an eye. Because once this goes on, she's on. Some in here, and we'll stick some around here. And here we go, boys. The squeeze her on. Bring her over, line her up, tighten her up. There she is. Yeah, we did. Freaking right, we did. So now what we got left to do is just to stick that in, boys. So this will be easy. We'll sand this like so. We'll sand this like so. There we go. Now we'll take this. We'll give it a little. Uh, and we'll get a little, uh, and we'll go like this, boys. There you go, eh? And this is like a ball valve, so it doesn't have to be 100%. But we're gonna leave that off for now because I gotta glue this one still, I do. Stick that, stick this, and we'll stick that on. There you go. So, that's how I take my chop off. Take that off, take those off, and it drops out. Freaking right it does. All right, so let's hit her with some water and see what happens. Hit her. Watch for leaks. Look at that awesome job, eh? There you go, right? not one leak, boys. But anyways, there you go, that's plumbing with Delsif. We got her done in one night we did. We got her done in about 20 minutes we did, didn't we, Mel? So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I got something for you. Have a good night, don't do anything I didn't do and uh, you know what to do for now.